This is a very successful group. Celebrating rewards right now here at the Rayleigh Golf Club, but with much more of this season still to come. This is the culmination of a special Order of Merit season in the PGA East region. Levermore, Ellis, Hooper and Charlton, these are the East's four representatives who now go on to the tightest PGA playoffs in Turkey. So, at Rady Golf Club, how this quartet managed to overcome several challenges and contenders is all to come. First though, the rise and rise of the PGA East region. With success behind the scenes building a confident season-long program and quality play on the courses throughout the East. In the East, uh, we have uh, around about 800 professionals. The, the East, the PGA in England East, is there really for all professionals, be it the young aspiring professional who wants to make it onto the European Tour, um, for the established club professional, and indeed, perhaps guys in the, in, the, in the twilight of their career that are looking to make it onto the, the seniors tour. Um, it is very much regional golf, regional order of merits. It's very much golf for all professionals. And it couldn't be done without one benefactor whose sponsorship underpins it all. The East region is where I live, and because of that, uh, I know a lot of the golf clubs, and from that I know a lot of the young professionals that work in these golf clubs and around. Smudge at the Eastern region has always been a really good chap, uh, and just generally the people are people I want to be with. Golf is the only sport I play and it's the only sport I know in the world that you can actually play on a level playing field. I can't go out at Wembley and kick the ball around with, you know, the England guys, but I can go on a golf course with, with some of the top professionals that I've been able to do in my time and really enjoy it. And it's, it gives me personal pleasure to be able to support the uh, younger professionals coming through. Well, some of them aren't so young now, but it's still their way of life. And the culmination of the Order of Merit season is decided at the Rayleigh Golf Club. Jason Levermore is topping the standings. The Channels Pro is way out in front and closing in on an outstanding fourth Order of Merit in his career. Now Jason has already secured his place earlier in the Turkey finale. That's thanks to a second place finish in the Glenmuir PGA Professional Championship. But several players will start out this event with a chance. The chance to go to Turkey to do well there and reap a host of invitations next season at top events, including the BMW PGA Championship at Wentworth. Mark Cooper began in second place and he's playing on his home course, hoping to back up a win at Basildon and eager to go all the way back to a Wentworth qualification where he played so well in May. He'd be one under for the front nine. Stuart Brown from Morton and Meadows began in third place on the order of merit. One early birdie, that's him at four under, his lowest for the day, and his position in the top four now is in jeopardy because of what's happening further up the field. Ian Ellis has taken the Rayleigh Golf Club Championship by the scruff of the neck. Nine under par in round one, he birdies four times in the first eight holes in round two. Ellis had led the order of merit for several weeks, but now starts out in fourth place on the edge of missing out. In fact, just a handful of Order of Merit points separate the players down to eighth, and that's occupied by Cromer winner, James Taverner, with his caddy, James, of course. You can't not hit it yeah, lucky, really. as hard as that because you, you know, I thought you played that very nicely. I think that you're putting up there, aren't you? No. The last thing you want to do is leave it down here, so... Yeah. No. You've almost just got to take your medicine with that lie that you had there. It's just... Get it up on top, give yourself a chance. Yeah. And then you're unlucky again to end up against the collar there. So. Well, playing that better than I thought it would. Another caddy who really should have local knowledge is Jamie Sage. He owns Rayleigh and he's taking a hands-on approach with Ricky Lee, who is the club's amateur champion. Yeah, he's doing right. One under through three. Yeah, he's he's uh, had a good start, birdie the first. 
I guess it's, uh, he's got to be nerve wracking. I've never been in that position, so, you know, he's got, they've got to be nervous, but I think he's got ice running through his veins. Lee will acquit himself so well. He'll finish in a tie for second. That's on nine under for the tournament. End of 2012, 2013, I think the business had run out of money, basically. Um, it went into administration. I've been a member here for about 10 years prior to that. Um, no ambition to own a golf course, but decided that I'll, I'll have a crack at it and try and do a better job than the previous owner. So ended up buying it on a February last year. Cash flow wise, if we can break even every month, it's great. It, you know, it's all about investing for the future, really. Um, hopefully I'm around to see the end of it. But <laughs> the, the main bulk of the range has been here, well, probably about 10, 15 years, but it's just been in poor condition with poor balls, poor mats. Um, we refurbed it last year when I bought it, um, added new bays, new mats, new balls. So it's been operational about, about a year now. Um, and in that year, we've gone from probably 10 cadets to 80 cadets. Um, we do this um, it's a thing called snag golf, which is like foam tennis balls for young, young kids. I mean, we have six or seven of them at group lessons a week. So it's all about, it's all about getting kids involved, because they're our new members and hopefully our new professionals. This used to be an old farmhouse, I think, originally. Um, and we, we sort of gutted the place when we bought it last year. Um, and we've turned it into nine bedroom accommodation. This is the bridal suite. Pretty much everybody that has a big function here will take a room or, or in some cases, all nine of rooms. So it's proving very popular. Jamie's club, his course, it's rising to the challenge of this Order of Merit finale. Finishing fourth in the overall standings would be Mark Hooper. His tight in 13th spot at Rayleigh is enough to get the job done and qualify for the December shake-up. It, it was really good, really good. A bit, bit scary, really, the last few holes. Couldn't quite really get hold of the round. Um, so I found myself at 20 feet all the time trying to two part and a few up and downs, but yeah, just about got in, I think. But the one loser would be Stuart Brown. His finish not enough to hold on to his top four place on the order of merit. He will drop out and he'll try again next season. Looks as though he just missed out. Oh, yeah, yeah, been... frustration, but uh, I think it was about 20 points in the end, which over the space of a year is not a great deal, but um, yeah, comes <laughs> the breaks, I suppose. Yeah, try and improve over the winter and uh, hopefully uh, come back stronger next year with a bit of luck. The big mover in the race for the playoffs, that's Darren Charlton from Dunstable Downs. He started the tournament sixth in the rankings, but success here at Rainey means, crucially, he'll be third in the overall standings. Well, obviously, I had the, uh, the delight of playing in the BMW in 2006, having won the Order of Merit in 2005. So, having experienced that once, uh, and with the, you know, the, the playoffs uh, determining another chance to get into that, it, it means everything. And uh, if that happens again, then fantastic. But a long way to go. The playoffs are uh, you know, 20 odd guys in there that are fantastic players, and uh, only 10 spots available. But yeah, you've got to be there to have a chance. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. Second in the standings. The player who turned in a birdie fest at Rayleigh, Ian Ellis, winner by five shots, a remarkable 14 under par total. Yeah, it's been a really, uh, really hard week. It, it's, it seemed quite easy out there, but it's not. You know, behind the scenes, you, you're stressing and worrying about it. But you know, to come through and, and, and win to get get to the playoffs, great. And I would have taken fourth, but um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. And sitting on top of the order of merit again. Jason Levermore. He takes fifth spot at Rayleigh on seven under par, a mark of his ultra consistency throughout the season. There's a lot, there's a lot up for grabs. There's the Welsh Open, Scottish Open, BMW, top three getting to the PGA Cup, which is in California next year. So there's a lot to play for around there. So what would be great if the, me, Elsie and Hoops could finish top three and, and go and do all the other events together. In the PGA East, four of their finest for them, the season really has just begun.